was Introduzioni al Mappado by Death Traeco. That's coming from the 2017 um, compilation album. Brut um, sorry, it's gonna, I'm gonna butcher my uh, Italian here. Um, Prodizioni Tecnofobici. 1988 to 1989. I've been listening to more of this, um, oh, what would the word be correctly? Um, this Italian ambient noise you got from, like, the late 80s. It's, it's so weird, and I love it so much. It's, it's probably been my favorite thing to be listening to over the past few weeks, especially during spring break. Speaking of which, go! afternoon this is a coffee noise i'm your host dj marlin and if you can't believe it it's tuesday once again how are we doing out there listeners it is week 10 of the uh school year we're coming back from spring break i know you listeners missed hearing my voice and my beautiful choice of music uh but don't worry uh, your old pal Marlin is here and back in with some new music. Um, let's see. Let's get some things off the uh, off the top of my head. Um, well, well, the main thing actually is um, if you, if you haven't already, uh, registration for the spring semester is or for the uh, summer semester is already open. Uh, for those doing. Uh, summer one or summer two or even both. I'm actually doing both semesters this year. That is open and uh, Friday. If you made, um, if you're able to, you can um, early registration for the fall 2024 semester is opening up this Friday. For those who are on dean's list for anything else, I personally made the dean's list last semester, so you know I'm already gonna sign up on Friday. Uh, for all the seniors out there, I believe it opens up on. Uh, next Monday, and then so on, so on. Uh, already looked look at the classes I'm um, wanting to take, and earlier I was looking over to, it was like, wow, I am, I could probably graduate in the fall. And I don't have to speak with my, uh, the uh, head chair department, the philosophy department, but, um, I am very close to graduating, and I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. And hopefully I'm able to graduate early. Um, I kind of have a plan of what I want to do uh, after college. I kind of want to look into doing uh, AmeriCorps. I'm definitely going to look into that. But you know what? I am have my options available. I'm not really picking anything right now. You know, I'm open to everything right now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying. Come on. You're, you're tuning into DJ Marlin right here. Of course you know what's up. Uh, let's say anything happened over the big time. During spring break, uh, I really didn't do much for spring break, really. Kind of stayed home, you know, I had to do some, uh, school work and, uh, some chores around the house, waiting for it, um, uh, AP, uh, AC repair to happen at my place, uh, but, you know, pretty good spring break. Uh, speaking of which, haven't done this, but, uh, let's go take a quick look at the weather right now. <clears throat> right now in the, uh, City of Edinburgh, right now we're looking at a high of 67 degrees. It's a very nice, um, fresh day outside, kind of cloudy out there. I don't think there's going to be a chance of rain, but you know what, listeners, if you're out going out in the evening, uh, besides putting on the hoodie, maybe try having an umbrella or a raincoat on with you. Leave in the car, bring in your backpack. You know what, you got to be protected. It's a very nice day outside, kind of fresh, kind of cool. You know, if, you, if you're one of those people that likes to go for long walks, go for a jog outside, I personally fall under that category. Uh, right now, beautiful weather. J just so beautiful weather. Um, let's see. In the, evening, in the evening, we're looking at a low of 58 degrees. And over the next few days, we're going to be looking at um, tomorrow. We're looking at mid-70s. And afterwards, we're going to look into anywhere from the uh, mid to high 80s. So... Listeners, it is already spring already, so, um, yeah. Also, listeners, this Thursday, March 21st, I turn 21 years old. I don't know what to do about that, really. Um, what can a 21-year-old do? You know, you know, whatever, you know, I'm, hopefully, if everything goes well, I can graduate this fall. That'll be my birthday gift, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, like I said, you just listened to some uh, Italian uh, drone music. 
Let's kick it back with a little something, a little uh, dance worthy. This is Bati Bati by Hailu Megaria. If you're into that uh, African jazz, oh, you'll definitely like this. And that was Bati Bati. Uh, been listening to that uh, African jazz for uh, about like a month already. That album uh, in itself, it's amazing. I've been listening to it constantly, con- constantly, and constantly, like over and over again. Really good driving music from what I, from my personal experience, says. Um, I don't drive a lot for, well, the main obvious reason is, well, I don't have my license yet. Um, I'm working on it. I'm taking the driver's course right now online. I'm not going to go in person, but I'm taking the online driver's course. It's really boring. You you know, it's like, it's, it's a minimum of six hours, but like you have to read the screen, but there's a timer. So it makes you like reread over again. <sighs> It's really boring. I know it's for public safety. I know, I know, I get it. And it's good, you know. I'm not saying drive without your license. No, definitely do not do that. But um, I don't know. Y'all, y'all, should, y'all should make the um the online school a bit more uh, entertaining. I, I, well, not entertaining, but you know, like don't have like the timing restricting on us. Like, come on, it's it, it's it's really bad. It's like seriously, like, they could put like a small sentence, maybe like a small paragraph of like four or five sentences, and they give you, like, a minute to read it. I-, I could read the entire thing twice, and I'll be done with, like, 30 seconds left on the clock. It's like, there's, there's, there really is no reason to put that on. I, I know it's for people to make sure that people are actually reading it. You know, they don't want people just uh, speed running through it, and then, you know, getting a driver's license, and then, you know, getting into an accident. Uh, and, and that's good. You know, we, we shouldn't be having that. But like I said, the online the online class is kind of boring. It kind of is boring. Am I a hater for that? Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I guess you could say I am a hater for that. But you know what can you do really? I don't know. I'm, I'm the one asking the question. So um. Well, yeah. Uh, let's say anything happened over the weekend. Hmm, here we go. So, my family rents a, rents a house, and the AC went out twice last week. No, three times, actually, from the Friday before spring break. And we had to wait for a couple of days just to have an AC repair uh, person sent out just to fix it. A couple of days? You know how hot it got that night? It went up to, like, the uh, low 80s, so... um. Suffice to say, during spring break, I was not able to get enough good sleep. Thankfully, the AC is working again, and I'm able to get good, deep rest. Uh, remember, students, you had to get a good, I don't know, like, seven, eight hours of sleep. Don't get me wrong, I also do, too. I also live off the uh, caffeine drinks and whatnot. You know, uh, uh, I love me a good um, Celsius can here and there. But, you know, you just can't live off of those. I, you know, actually, if they were to make Celsius drinks, but just drink itself without the caffeine, so it's almost like a like like a um, like a soda ish, I think that would be that would sell pretty good. Or maybe I I, I would buy it. You know, I I love myself like a diet soda or a zero cal soda. Or I, I think I had an H E B last week. They have like twenty calorie soda now in cans. Like I like the root beer flavor. Pretty good. You know, I personally. You know, like a diet soda or a sparkling water butter, but sometimes you just need a little, uh, you you need that little uh, soda kick to get you through the rest of the day, and um, I am very jealous of that. But you know what? We all have our vices and sins, you know, I'm not here to judge. Anyways, for the next track, we're going to kick back with some uh, dark ambient tracks. This is uh, um, Aphex Twin with the track 21 off the 1994 album Selected Ambient Works Volume 2. All right, remember you're listening to DJ Marlin here on Coffee Noise. Don't touch that dial. All right, and we're back. This is going to start the second half of the show. Uh, you just heard 21 uh, by Aphex Twin off the, like I said, the album 1994, Selected Ambient Works Volume 2. Uh, the track is number 21. Unless you have the vinyl variant, that track would be 22, because I know track 20 would be... Um, What's the name of that track? Um, Stone in Focus. I, I used to listen to that track a lot, you know, falling asleep. I still do. Uh, it gives me weird dreams, though. 
I, I know I, I, I personally do like uh, Select Damian Works Volume 2 more than the first volume, but a lot of people don't. I, I feel like the um, the second volume is kind of, I wouldn't say underrated. It's, it's, it's definitely not, but it's not up there along with uh, Richard's other work on their Apex Twin. You know, you have, um, uh, I care because you do, uh, the Richard D. James album. Uh, what's that one that came out? The, the latest one, not, not the EP. Um... So that was like the uh, green logo on it. I can't remember. But also the EPs in itself. I mean, the, um, I think when I was like, I didn't know about Apex Twin when I was a kid. And they had that, the uh, the EP uh, Come to Daddy. And then I saw the music video. I was like, oh, this is creepy. This is, and now I, I love that EP. It's, it's probably up there. It was one of my favorite tracks. Uh, and then you have those have the uh, Window Licker, the uh, Window Licker EP, um, the, um, Girl Boy EP, I believe that's the name of the EP, and then the one that came out last year or so, which uh, I still want to get on vinyl. I still want to, but um, I, I want to get the Japanese pressing of it, just because it looks cooler, in my opinion. It's kind of a dumb, mundane reason, but yeah, it it just looks cooler. Um. But that track though, twenty one, it, it's very uh, dark ambient, almost like a uh, haunted corridor corridor sound. You know, you play those. Um, when I say it reminds me a bit of like Resident Evil, I, I don't really play Resident Evil that much. But I know people who do, uh, you know, who are like fans the fans of that video game. It kind of gives off a similar vibe, not not like a one to one, but um, it's there. It's definitely up there. Uh, dark ambient music, obviously. It's one of the subgenres, one of the many subgenres of ambient music, but dark ambient, I mean, yeah. Apex Twin, a bit of Square Pusher, I guess you could put him under, which I'm looking forward to his new album coming out on, uh, I believe, Warp Records. Um, uh, I don't know when, but it's coming up soon. Uh, that's all I know. But I do see it's already on for, uh, pre-order on Bandcamp, which I'll probably look into, uh, Getting that album because uh, I love Square Pusher. In general, I just love all the artists they have on uh, Warp Records. You know, if, they, if if I had to choose one record label to listen to the rest of my life, I would probably say Warp Records. But then, then there's like other labels. We have uh, Ninja Tune Records, uh, Danger Collective Records, uh, my friend's record label. What's another record label that I like? Uh, from the U.S., you have. Uh, Oh, what's the name of that record label? I forgot. Uh, Dust to Digital. Dust to Digital. Yes, that's dumb. Um, their Instagram page is probably one of my favorite ones <laughs> on, on Instagram. Um, yeah, I, I know they did, like, uh, they do a lot of pressing on vinyl. I still want to press up, uh, one of the pressings on vinyl. It was, like, um, Prison Songs of the, uh, Deep South. Uh, I forgot. I think it was, um... Wake Up Dead Man, I think that was, was of uh, prison songs sung in the Texas prisons. I want to purchase that album. Uh, to, the, the, the issue is, the, the vinyl itself costs like 100 something, 200 bucks. Uh, I'm, I'm not really that willing to spend that much on a vinyl record. Not yet. Um, maybe for that one, maybe for like a limited edition Death Grips album, I would love to get government plates. The uh, record door, the record, record day, record store day, uh, edition. I think it was like twenty. It was like a few years back ago. It was like a few years. Ago. It came with like the, um, the license plate on it and whatnot. But that one's like going for like six hundred dollars. I mean, I know there are people who buy records at price. I mean, I could sell one of my records at around three to four hundred dollars. Uh, I forgot the name of the album, but yeah, I have that one. Two of them do those copies. One of them is like a limited pressing out of two fifty, so I could probably get a pretty penny off of that. Uh, one of my cassette tapes, I could definitely sell that for uh two hundred bucks. I think it's like not two hundred. I think like one fifty. Um, what what's the name? Fire in Heaven, uh, by Salem. That's uh, that's a good album. Anyways, let's get to the uh, next track. This is going to be uh, XYZ, The Peel Session by Boards of Canada. Um, yeah, I just really like electronic music, and uh, we're going to play Boards of Canada, so let's get into it. That was track XYZ. Uh, that comes from The Peel Session that was recorded in January of 
uh, recorded live in January of 1999. Although for, I believe it was sampling issues, they had to like uh, remove the track off uh, pressings. It only became like available, like I think like two decades later or so. I think that was like what, 2019 when uh, Warp celebrated their, um, I believe it was their 30th anniversary. I was listening to a lot of the uh, Warp 30 they had on the NTS radio. Uh, that, uh, that drone mix they have, it's, um, it's beautiful, it's, like, really good drone music, um, they also, during that, uh, 30-hour takeover, they played that, uh, Death Grips track, uh, what was it called, Gmail and the Restraining Orders, it's, like, 30 minutes of noise, I, I don't even think if noise would even be the right word to say, it's just kind of like, um, it's kind of like if you like broke glass, if you broke a glass cup, and then you try to put it back together, but with duct tape, and then it breaks again, so you try fixing it again, but again with duct tape. That's kind of what it feels like. It's um, it, it's messy, it's noisy, it's it's chaotic, it's harsh, and I I personally love it. But then again, I'm a pretty de- I'm a pretty big Death Grips fan. Uh, I was listening to that album, uh, their debut, The Money Store, uh, earlier today. Uh, great album. Wonderful, even. I, I have it on, uh, I have it in my collection somewhere. Um, I think it's, no, actually, no, I know where it is. It's in, uh, the box I have. Uh, that was actually pretty cheap. I got that for, like, 32 bucks. Although, I really can't pull it out often, because the, uh, the, the album cover, so it's like, mm, you know, that's just gonna stay into that's gonna stay in my shelf unless i pull it out but uh yeah uh it's a good album it's not my favorite death grips album though my favorite one would have to be uh uh what's it called bottomless pit that one's one of the rare five out of the fives for me because um i know i think it was like 2019 they came out their album year of the snitch that was their last album still looking for a new album we're supposed to get one now, i know they went on tour but i don't think they played any new material not, not that i know of. i think it was kind of like older material from like um uh, like i said the uh the money store no love deep web um their other albums a government plays i was talking about earlier and then you have the uh the eps they had or oh, no they had another album but it was like an instrumental album so it's more of an ep really but I forgot what's it called. Uh, fashion show, fashion week. I I forgot the name of it. But it's a pretty good album. Really harsh and noisy. Uh, but yeah, the album, uh, their last album, Year of the Snitch. Um, I I think I have an idea of what kind of sound they're going to go for for a new album if they ever make one. Really, uh, I mean, Stefan, he's pushing fifty, I think. So. Pretty sure it's going to be, like, one more album, and then they're going to call it quits. You know, I, you know, it sucks, you know, hey, I mean, you've been making music for roughly around, I don't know, more than a decade, really. Uh, the Money Store came out in 2012, so, and they were making music since, like, 2010. So, yeah, definitely around, like, 14-ish, 15 years already. Yeah, I, I don't know where that came from. Oh, yeah, those on War Record Takeover of NTS. Uh, anyway, listeners, we're going to play the uh, last track for today. We're going to be playing uh, a track by Thom York, well known as the uh, lead vocalist of the band Radiohead. This is his cover of Creep, the uh, Creep Very 2021 remix. All right, let's get into it. All right, listeners, that's going to finish off today's show for this week. I'll be back next week with another batch of new music. Until then, I will see you soon. Goodbye.